Over my shoulder, you can see today's subject matter. There's five, six, maybe 12 objects up there, depending on whether or not you want to think about those paint brushes as individual objects. But at any rate, it's a fairly complex subject to draw if we think of it uh, in terms of all of the detail and all of the individual objects. Well, we need to begin thinking or approaching our subject matter in a different way. And massing is a process that allows us to group individual objects uh, together and on our drawing surface to just create shapes that represent the space that those objects fit into. That's our first step in massing. So today, I'm not going to talk too much. I might jump in and explain a few things that I'm doing here. But I think it's really important that you have a brief demo that um, shows you what I mean by using massing to create general and specific uh, general drawings that um, gradually become more specific and detailed. So watch what I do here. So let me jump in here, and I'm gonna use my stick to, to point to the drawing a little bit. What I've done is this upward projecting form is the leaf blower. This here, this line coming across, that's the hammer. And then this here is the helmet. This is the bucket. This is the paint bucket down here. I haven't even put, I haven't even made any marks really that would begin to define the, the cup of water that has the paint brushes in it, which is this right here, okay? So I'm staying very general. I'm staying very general and I'm charting in on my drawing surface just the spatial relationships of these objects and how they relate to each other. And I'm already noticing this helmet is probably too high. There should be more space, from my point of view, from the top of the helmet to the top of the leaf blower. So I'll probably come in and lower that just a little bit. Um, I hadn't noticed that. But that's okay. There's still lots of time to make revisions. And you just want to get these objects in context with each other. Think back to or go look at in the project description there on Canvas, look at that architectural massing drawing that I put up there. The whole point of the first go around is just to kind of fit stuff into space and group it uh, and not get into the details. All right, so let me get back to drawing. So <clears throat> now you can see that the objects in my drawing are starting to pull apart. The first step was charting the space, uh, grouping the objects together in my mind, and then literally on the drawing. Then once I found, in general, where the forms belong, the very simple uh, compressed forms, now I'm pulling them apart, and each object is just sort of starting to fit in the, into the space where I see it. So that's where I'm at. I'll give this one more go uh, and resolve it a little bit more. I just don't want you to focus on the details or resolving a drawing too far just yet.
So my final comment here is that I kept this really loose. That's what I want you to do. It's not a highly resolved drawing uh, because I want you to buy in to this idea of general to specific. You need to forget about all of the detail and you need to start th thinking about the context of the shapes. Like, how do they fit together? So I don't, I don't care if you draw every paintbrush or I don't care if you get all of the, all of the holes on the top of the um, helmet. Okay? What you're trying to do is to relate the subject matter to itself. So mass it. Start seeing three subjects as one shape. Start seeing four objects as fitting into a general area on your drawing surface. Draw all of that first. You can always go back and whittle it down, get more specific, start putting in the details at that point. But you want to get the big picture first. That's the idea of massing. Also, I used charcoal. It's a lot of fun. You can move quickly. You can smudge it around. The uh, erase marks that I made weren't um, intended to show lightness or darkness. They were just helping me differentiate the forms and the objects, okay? So don't think about shading right now. Don't worry about, oh, it's dark here and it's light here. That's not what I was doing. What I was doing was erasing and adding, erasing and adding. That's called revising, okay? I hope that makes sense. Good luck.